Yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And yo, guys, I'm back at Villa Park, man, for the post match analysis, the match reaction, for the game that happened yesterday, man. Newcastle United 5. I can't believe I'm saying this, you know, people. Newcastle United 5. Aston Villa 1, man. I thought I'd come to Villa and, and, and do like a, a proper analysis on the game, man. I couldn't do the match reaction straight away yesterday because, yo, I was fuming, man. Like, 5 1. 5 1. Let's get into it, people, man. Well, yeah, let's touch on the lineup. Lineup comes out, and I see no Pau Torres there. I'm seeing Luca Dean there, bro. Wait a minute. Him and, him and uh, Matty Cash, bro. The fullbacks were dry. I have to say, man. Absolutely shocking, man. Poor, poor, man. Like, especially Matty Cash. We'll touch on him. In a bit, but Luca Dean for me, even him didn't show up, man. Absolutely poor. Um, what does he offer, people? What does that guy offer apart from one good cross here and there? But even when he's taking a cross, bro, like the guy takes so long to whip the ball in, like he can't cross the ball when he's dribbling with the ball, like he has to stop the ball, then cross it, man. Like, nah, two full backs for me, they need replacing, man. I'm hearing, um, we're in for another right back, um. Not to replace Matty Cash, but to provide competition and, and to basically push him. But for me, I, I, I think we need two fresh right backs in, man. And Alex Mareno, Mareno, bro, we need you back ASAP. ASAP, man. Literally, like, both full backs for me let us down uh, that game yesterday, man. Absolutely shocking. Um, and yeah, let, let's touch on it, people. First few minutes, man. Newcastle United, bro. Don't man are on it. On it like a car, on it, bro. Like, no man started off differently. Energy was up, man. The Newcastle fans were up for it and stuff. Um, I think Eddie Howe even done like an interview before the game and stuff. And he goes, we need to start off quickly. We need to start off quickly, bro. Like, I even said this in my, my match preview uh, in the Tactical Villain show with um, Steph Man the Villa Man. We got my brother Steph Man the Villa Man. And we literally spoke about this. Newcastle United are a team that love to create space in behind. They are a team that love to exploit uh, space. And what happened? What happened in that game? Literally what we said, bro, we should have been a manager that game. We literally saw it happening. We literally saw it happening, man. Let's touch on the goals. I think it's like six minutes in or something like that, bro. And who comes up, bro? Literally, cross comes in um, and Tonali scores, man. Literally, man, easy as that, man. Easy as that. And then, yeah, after that, um, Villa literally get back into it, man. I'm like, yo, okay, Villa, we mean business. So, I think it's Luke didn't cross it. Watkins done like a little flick on. Then who comes up with the goal? Moussa Diaby, man. The only player that stood out for me yesterday, man, I have to say. The only player that done his thing, man. I have to say the rest of the players weren't up for it. Weren't up for it, man. Like, it felt to me like they were shocked by the occasion. They saw the, the, the ground rocking and stuff. They're like, bro, we ain't used to this. We ain't used to this. Well, you man better get used to it, bro. Because there's expectation at Villa now. And we need to start delivering, man. Uh, I have to say that was a very good finish from Diaby uh, as well. Because in, uh, it was on his uh, right foot. Very, very good finish, man. That could have literally gone over the bar, but literally, yeah, and he scored. And then half time, uh, actually, before half time, he had a few chances as well, man. Watkins, he had a chance. I think even Musa Diaby had another chance as well. Um, Lick took a shot, and I think it was near post. For me, I felt like he should have gone to the far post, possibly would have gone in, or maybe even touched the defender and went in. But we had chances, man. We had chances, and that's a maddest thing, man. We weren't clinical that game. We're not clinical, man. Not clinical at all, man. And, and we need to improve on that 100%, man. For me, Watkins, I keep on saying this, you know, he's a good overall striker, but he does miss a lot of chances. Let's be real, he misses a lot of chances, man. And yesterday, he did miss quite a few chances. He needs to be more clinical in front of goal for me. Um, but yeah, literally 2-1. And then second half comes. And Newcastle up for it again, man. Literally, man. Um, who was it? Um... Yeah, Conce's mistake, it was Conce's mistake. I think he tries to do like a ball or something like that. And then um, literally Isaac pressures him and stuff. Takes the ball off Conce. Um, and I have to say, it's a very good goal for Isaac, man. A very, very good goal for him. Um, and then literally after that, it's curtains. Once it was 3-1, I was like, nah, we ain't coming back in this, man. At Newcastle, ground's rocking again. And, and they literally were up for it, man. And we weren't at all, man. And for me, this is one of the worst performances if not the worst performance I've seen under Unai Emery, man. Literally, man. Literally, the worst performance. Like, there was no cutting edge. There was no intensity, you know. There was no... The 
the football that we've been playing in pre-season did not see at all. This is why pre-season, yeah, us Villa fans get gas, but it don't mean nothing, bro. It literally does not mean anything pre-season, man, because you like, literally saw what happened yesterday and I think that's the most heaviest defeat we've ever had in Villa's history in the opening game. And also, we put in the second half as well, bro. Leon Bailey comes off, man. And I'm like, bro, this guy did not have a good game once again. And I'm one guy yeah, that always backs Bailey. But yesterday, bro, what was that performance? What was that performance, bro? Like, absolutely shocking. Like, no 1v1 ability. Couldn't drive with the ball. Like, bro, what, what was that? I don't one guy, like I said, I back Bailey. But yesterday, I cannot back that performance. And I keep on saying, this is Bailey, man. It's just inconsistency, guys, man. Inconsistency. Like, you can't have a few good games where he's on it, man. Touch was off. You know, he wasn't driving with the ball. And yeah, man, it's absolutely shocking. He comes off and Tielemans comes on. And also, um, and also, uh, yeah, yeah, man, saying all the blues, you know. Hey, get out of here, bro. You mad? <laughs> what are they doing here? Crazy, guys. But yeah, um, Bailey, like I said, bro, pff, shocking, man. Shocking, shocking performance yesterday, man. Absolutely poor. And then, yeah, also, um, literally, Unai changes the formation. I think we play with the three at the back. Diego Carlos comes on. Um, McGinn comes off. I have to say, McGinn didn't have the best of games as well. And then, yeah, for Newcastle, guess who comes on? The guy that always scores against us, bro. Harvey Barnes, man. Literally picks up the ball, plays it to Callum Wilson. Wilson's clear on goal and tucks it in, man, and it's 4-1, man. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm literally zoned out after that, you know. I'm like, nah, how is this 4-1? Opening game of the season, literally. The last couple of games, the yeah, opening game of the seasons, we've been getting spanked. And that's literally what happened yesterday. Last season, I think it was Bournemouth. Lost to them. And even the, the season before that, I think it was Bournemouth again. We lost to them. Um, but yeah, yesterday was shocking, man. And then literally before one down. Um, and then again, who comes up with the goal? Like I said, Harvey Barnes, bro. And we literally touched on this in the tactical video the show. Harvey Barnes is a player that loves space. And what literally happens, guy plays it. I can't remember what player it was, but the play to Harvey Barnes. Barnes is clear on goal. Literally, can't remember who, uh, what fullback it was. I think it was Luca Dean or someone. Uh, maybe it was Matty Cash and then yeah he literally clear on goal and talks it in man and it's 5-1 you know 5-1 and literally last season people at, New uh, at sorry at Villa Park we pushed Newcastle aside we played some saucy football and we literally boxed them off the whole game that was literally one of the best games I've seen under Unai Emery and now it's literally the polar opposite one of the worst games I've seen from an Unai Emery side at Villa I don't know if it's just a, a freak result or something but I can't even say that because the performance was shocking as well. Even if it's a freak, freak result, the players sometimes do show up and stuff like that and they just concede goals. But even the performance was poor, man. Poor from minute one all the way to the 90th, man. Um, yeah, man, absolutely shocking, guys. Absolutely shocking, man. And listen, all I'm saying is, yeah, you see that Everton game, we need a bounce back 100% next week, Sunday, at Villa Park, people. We need a bounce back. And I don't want to just want to see a win. I want to see a few goals. I want to see a minimum of three, three, four. Yeah, let's get that momentum back. The players are going to be hurt. Let's be real. Unai Emery, he's going to be hurt, bro. He's probably got an Excel sheet out right now. Yeah, probably doing a, a four-hour presentation, telling the players on, on, on how to improve and stuff like that. And he needs to get into them, man. And don't get me wrong, Emery as well. He's got to take some blame for that game yesterday, man. The tactics, the high line, bro. Let me touch on that. The high line, literally all the goals we conceded towards the end. We're from the high line. And we need to sort that out, man. 100%. We need to sort that high line out. Because if you carry on with this, in the Premier League, bro, we give players that space, that yard of space, we're going to get caught out, man. And that's literally what happened yesterday. So for the high line, we need to sort that out 100%. And also, we need to touch on Mings as well, man. Another injury for the Villa, man. I think it's an ACL. It's not looking good, man. Um, speedy recovery to Tyron Mings, man. And he's going to be a massive, massive miss for us because, you know, he, he's got that presence for us. You know, he brings that leadership quality. Let's be real. He might not be the best footballer at Villa, but he brings that presence. He brings that leadership quality to Villa. Um, and yeah, man, it's going to be a massive, massive blow for us people. A massive blow, man. I'm not sure how long he's going to be out for. Um, I, I think it might be quite some time. Um, but yeah, it's not looking good, man. First was Carlos, the star of uh, last season. Now it's literally Buendia that got injured recently. And now it's Tyrone Mings, man. I think we've got... We've still got a few more players that are injured as well. So, yeah, man, it's not looking good. 
getting smacked 5-1 and losing a player as well with an injury, you know, pff, can it get any worse, people, man? Can it get any worse? Yeah, man, let me know your thoughts on the game, people. Pff, I still can't believe it, man. 5-1, you know. Pff, I don't know, man. Well, yeah, guys, I'll be back anyway at Villa Park um, with uh, Seth Man Villa, man, for the preview, the tactical villain show, all of that, people. So stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, people. Newcastle fans, you guys must be gas, bro. I think they're going to have a crazy season, you know. In the in the Premier League prediction, I was like, Newcastle might fall off and stuff like that because they got Champions League football. But looking at now, the man are looking saucy still, I have to say, man. They're looking very, very good. Uh, may, they'll probably be even better than they were last season. You never know. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on the game. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back with Steph Man and Villa, man, um, very soon, people, for the... Like I said, the, the tactical villain show and the preview as well. So, yeah, man, up the villa.